everybody, this is Praxis, and today I got here and started on the electrical stuff. I was buttoning up things that my dad had worked on yesterday uh, when he was kind of running wires and getting everything laid out. Like these two little light boxes for, uh, you know, when you're at the sink here. This is a little bit different uh, than is normally uh, what's set up. Usually you have lights right above what's going to be like a mirror or medicine chest. I've decided to put them on the sides with the idea that you'll have light coming from the side and also it will reflect in the mirror so you'll kind of have four points of light that will uh, kind of uh, bathe your face in light. Uh, my regular job is a lighting uh, designer for films and video and uh, I give this an A plus for uh, ingenuity. <laughs> I hope it works out alright. We've cut the holes in the wall and I, I think it's going to be a nice lighting setup. So anyway, uh, I finished up that stuff and then I decided well, why not uh, jump on the sink area and get the sink in. Uh, I bought a sink uh, a couple days ago and I kind of got it all fitted in here, got the supports put in. I cut this piece of plywood, uh, which is leftover plywood from the uh, uh, those tunnels underneath the floor. It's pressure treated plywood. I needed pressure treated for uh, putting in the tunnels into the floor for blowing the air. Don't need pressure treated for this application, but it's scrap, so I'm going to use it up here. you notice there's a little uh, corner uh, cut out there. That's just because it was scrap. <laughs> It, I would have preferred that it was a full size, but this hole is going to live right over here, so I'll just put a little, uh, you know, fixer in there, and you know, it won't be a problem. Uh, as I laid it in, though, I noticed that it looked just a little bit crooked. This end looked a little bit taller than this side. Now I took the bubble level and I actually checked it, and it is. I made a little mistake, and I made one side a little bit taller or shorter than the other. I'm not sure what happened there. But it happened. Now, I mean, you know, I'm a lay person. Lay people make mistakes. So do professionals. Right behind you is the toilet up here, severely kicked off to uh, the right hand side, like to the point where you sit on it, and you're like, whoa, what, what, you know, what's going on here? And the tank was put on crooked by the professionals that installed it. Um, I am going to ask when they come back to f uh, fix all the leaks that they have everywhere to. I don't know, could you make the toilet level? It would be a big deal. I don't know. Uh, they have to be asked to do it. I'm just, you know, g going to do this because, you know, that's, that's the layperson difference. You know, if you find a problem, you fix it. Uh, the method I'm going to be using is uh, I'm making little spacers. Uh, this side's high, um, this side's low over here. So uh, wherever I've got these screw down surfaces where I'm going to be screwing that down, I'm going to be putting these little pads in and I'm just cutting off of a piece of uh, two by four here, and that will just slowly raise up one side uh, over the other. When I am screwing this in, because I'm going to be using these guys, uh, I am going to uh, make pilot holes as I drill through, uh, because if I just put a screw right through here, there'd be a tendency for this kind of wood to just split out. So I'm going to uh, drill pilot holes uh, through this and through that before I sink the screws in, uh, just to make sure they don't split. It wouldn't really matter a lot if they split, you know, because they're really just a pad, a spacer to be wedged between this and this surface. Uh, but I think it'd be nice if they didn't split, uh, just to make sure that they, all the pieces stay up in there. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to finish that up today. I do not have uh, all the pieces that I need to hook it up. I asked the plumbers to leave me everything I would need to hook up. Surprise! They didn't. Uh, when they come back, I'll be asking them, you know, could you please bring the proper pieces and everything? You know, if you want to get paid fully, you should fully do the job. Um, but uh, I can at least hook up the supply side and, you know, put another bucket under here if we wanted to use it at all. So that's what I'm up to today. That's it. Thanks for watching.